now we've got two sets of fins. Now I'm going to focus on the teeth up here next. The big teeth, not going to do the small teeth just yet. So for that, we're looking at uh, the predator right here. So I'm going to add a new layer, call this one tooth. This is going to be pretty simple. Just going to go to my primitives. I'm going to start out with a sphere. I can move it out here to the front a little bit. Hit enter, and then I will add in a cone. And now I've got that. Don't worry about this little lip right here. We're going to cover that up. And what I'll do now is I'm going to look at this from the side and I'll use my pose tool again. Now I need to make sure my edit pose fall off that I'm using a linear curve here. And I'm going to draw a line going straight up or as straight up as I can manage. And I'm going to move the gizmo down to oh, hold on. Need to oh, stop. There we go. I'm going to move the gizmo down to the bottom where I started drawing that curve. And then I'm going to bend it. And you see, we actually get a very nice curved tooth by doing this. I'll hit enter. And now we can move this tooth into position. I do not know why the gizmo is all the way over there but I'm going to hit to center mass, which will just get it to the center of the tooth, and then I will move it down to this good rotating point, and then I'll put them into place. There we go. Then I'll duplicate it, move it down to the bottom, and we'll use the same technique as before with the fins to get it to the other side. Excellent. Starting to look very creepy now. All right, let's keep going. Now I'm going to focus on the small teeth. Now if I look back at the reference, these teeth aren't exactly points. Really hard to see, but they look more like, uh, more like ramps. So let's see how close to that kind of structure we can get. Now to make this one, I'm going to start out with just a basic sphere. And I'm going to have symmetry turned on for this. This object is so simple that we really could, or it's going to be so small that we really could start out with any form. So I'm just going to use a basic sphere, and I'm going to use my move tool mainly to get us the shape. Now if we wanted to try and make this point really sharp, which I'm not sure if we need to, but in case you did want to make something like this really sharp, we can use the move tool and we can use this pointed alpha and when we move that up you see we get something that's very very sharp. I think I'm going to leave it like that though. So now that we have this it's just a whole lot of duplicating and moving this one piece.
Now in order to make my Vox tree a little bit more organized, I'm going to merge together all the small teeth except for the very first one. And I'm gonna merge those all just into the upper teeth and then later the lower teeth. I can do that by doing right clicking, merge with, and I'm gonna merge this with the other tooth copies.